The new specialist hospital, Oshomole six court injunction stopping Governor Obaseki from probing him. The national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC and the former Ed governor of Edo State, Adams Oshomole, has filed an, an action before the Benin Division of the Federal High Court for the enforcement of his fundamental rights over the Benin Specialist Hospital. In the originating motion, dated 25th of March 2020, which was made available to newsmen, to newsmen, respondents in the suit are Edo State Government, Attorney General of Edo State, Justice J.U. Oyomire, retired, Professor Emmanuel E. Obaseki Ebo, Elizabeth Uwaifo, Enemaku Hilary Igemo, Anthony Izebekale, Inspector General of Police and the Department of State Security. Oshimole's suit was accompanied by an affidavit of seven paragraphs wherein he swore that the Benin Specialist Hospital was commissioned and remained intact under his administration until he handed over power to the current governor. He accused Governor Obaseki of swearing to pull him down and has been making efforts to remove him as the national chairman of APC. Oshomole swore that the commission of inquiries set up by Governor Baseki had never invited him to explain anything to them, and the said committee has a blood brother of the governor, Professor Emmanuel E. Obaseki Ebo, as a member. He further swore that the commission is hurrying up its job without hearing him and is therefore afraid his fundamental rights would be violated if his reliefs are not granted. He annexed the copy of the news of the constitution of the committee, which he downloaded from the internet. It was further argued on behalf of Oshomole that his probe is in violation of his right to a fair hearing. Many cases were cited and the court was urged to grant the application of the applicant. All right, guys, Oshumale has run to court or has run to court, you know, to uh, stop or to forestall any proof that might be instituted against him by Governor Obaseki. You recall that the hospital, the specialist hospital that was said to have been built by uh, Ushomole while he was governor uh, has been under huge controversy uh, by the incumbent governor who said the, um, there were wrongdoings in handling the contract as there some due process were not followed and um, some amount were paid out to the contractor about seventy percent of the sum of contract was paid out to the contractor, which is against the um, rule or the policy of awarding contracts. That uh, twenty-five percent is what ought to have been paid. So uh, Obaseki constituted a committee to look into the issue, and that uh, they reported back to him. And receiving the reports, Obaseki said that some people might have to face prosecution. It is in this light that uh, it is in this light that he went to court to forestall any proof or prosecution that might be instituted against him. So, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this? Do you think that it is uh, uh, it, it is a good thing, or do you think that Oshomale is? So, do you think that it is uh, it is out of fear 
that Oshomole has decided to go to court to um, get a court injunction that would um, stop the governor from prosecuting him or from going to court or instituting any uh, prosecution against him. Well, it's what it is. Let's look at it again and let's get a few um, reactions as to what people are saying. Deep Thinker says, we in Benin said the facilities were empty. Go and clear your name. Okay? And people have said that the facility was just there empty. It was commissioned empty. Or uh, there were reports that the, 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 the equipment from a particular hospital, I think Stella of the Hospital, were, were moved to that place during commission. Then after commissioning, those equipments were returned back to Stella of Asanjo Hospital. So, meaning that, as it were, you know, the building is just there, but there are no equipment in the hospital. And probably funds have, had been disbursed to purchase equipment to equip the hospital, but so far, there are no, uh, 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 the, the hospital has not been equipped. And this has led to Obaseki's probe of that facility. So be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts? Another person says, Oshomole, you are a thief. You left it empty. Your hands will open. So why would a governor, you know, um, build such a um, massive f uh, structure and leave it empty? If he had built that structure, why didn't he equip the hospital for the use of the people? Because that was the intent and the purpose of it. So why didn't he build, why didn't he equip it? And you recall that he granted an interview that he does not go abroad for medical treatment or checkup as it were. So, and you built a hospital and you left it without equipping it, claiming that you equipped it and um, it's working and everything. So which were discovered to be lies. How are our politicians like this? It is really, really sad. And another thing I would like to note is that all this while, why didn't Obaseki, you know, raise the issue? Why is it now that, you know, they have issues, or both may, he's having issues with the Shomole, why is it now that he has decided to come and, you know, probe the issue of the hospital? And was he not, did he not serve in the government of Obaseki, of Oshomole, so will he claim not that he was not aware from the inception that the hospital was not uh, equipped? So some of these things are, should not be politicized, if you ask me. This is clear politics. In as much as, fine, we know that you know, it is the right thing to do to probe and all that. But the timing and uh, the, of the probe and all what have you is now see, has now brought about politics in the game, which shouldn't be. Well, Emmanuel Edogame says he will, he always run to court to stop investigation against him. Why, Mr. Adam? As integrity man, go and defend yourself in court. Another person says, I'm sorry for Shomole. You handed over an empty hospital. We in Benin, we know that you handed over an empty hospital. Prince God, they says, I have said it so many times, Oshomole is a big thief. Joel Otilichiko says, the Adam Oshomole I know then in labor has since metamorphosed into something else. Oh, how time flies. Of course, we all know that the Adam Oshomole of the Adam Oshomole of the era of, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, labor is no longer the Adam Oshomole of today. You know, ever since he ventured into politics and became governor and all what have you, he wrote on the premise or the power or uh, the mantra of uh, being a, an activist who would work hard and transform uh, the state. But he, uh, all that were just uh, gimmicks and uh, to unveil his true nature. Eddie Blunt says, every day for the thief, one day for the owner. Osho thief, I said it that he will never go scot-free. If your hands are clean, why are running? To the court for injunctions so this is just it this man is so corrupt the apc government just came to power to loot 
This country dry. Mr. Integrity, where are you? You see yourselves? And they are still referring to PDP for their failures. Well, time will tell. When Obasanjo attempted to stop him from becoming Edo governor, the Supreme Court saw nothing wrong at that time. Today, Edo people are the victims and they are suffering for Oshimole's fraud. So guys, you see what we're saying? Anyway guys, kindly drop in the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.